All right, I screwed up. So there's three different size bolts. There's the short ones. The next one up is this one, and then that one, 25, 30, let's see, 25, 35. Anyway, the real short ones go on everything. The next size up, this one goes in these because it has a steel plate on the bottom. And then in the middle is the long one with the, you know, non-thread piece right there. Well, I put all of the second one size ones in this, and then I had a whole bunch of these left over, and I should have had the small, small ones, or the medium ones. Anyway, I got to go back and take all these out, just where the two pieces meet. Oops. Okay, now that the, the track is level and square, and sitting where it needs to be, putting the head together. Now the head came in, in here, you take two bolts out, and then I just folded the metal down and the head fell out. I kind of, actually it was over here, but I kind of wiggled the, the metal out and left the head on those two uh, pieces of wood, because you got to have it six inches off the ground. Once the head is uh, six inches off the ground, laying on its belly, or whatever, the face over there, you slide these two posts in, make sure that the top cap is solid, the bottom has got a hole in it. Then you attach these legs to that post. There's two bolts. Make sure the bolt heads are on the inside facing out. Okay? Tighten them down. And then it should be level with your uh, with your posts. Then it says to stand this upright with some help. I suggest you get help because I said ah, I'll be alright. I started standing it up and then this sucker said chain and then the head slid down and it was good times. Shut up Siri. So anyway, the next thing to do is going to be to bolt these up, one on each side, right up in here, kind of like that one standing. Uh, obviously there's instructions for this and uh, everybody can read their own instructions and figure out how to do it, but I just like putting these videos out there because, you know, show you what I run into, the crap that that is a little bit more complicated or easier if I find an easier way to do it or what have you but anyway okay <clears throat> one thing to tell you is this pole has two extra holes in it that pole does not this one goes on the right it's for uh, attaching the, the push handle you only put the two bottom bolts in for now not these bolts yet I just barely snugged them a little bit I did not torque it down you can see there's still a gap there because the next thing we got to do is assemble the big top unit up here cross beam and uh, it's going to attach here and here and all that good stuff and then you'll put these in last but the cross beam has several pieces and it says make sure that the bolts are pointing outward okay and uh, make sure you use a washer on the inside and the outside this one also has a log scale indicator and you have these pulleys that go here too so pay uh, close attention to all that detail. It looks like the bolts with the pulleys are the real long 110 millimeter uh, and the rest are 90s. I'm guessing you go back to here with the 80s, but it doesn't say. So uh, we'll cross. Oh, no, it does down here. It says finally install the two on. Do not fully tighten these bolts at this time yet. So we're not fully tightening any of this, but. Uh, Okay, got the pulleys on here. Nothing is torqued down tight, just snug. This can still move. So your two bolts go this way. Your real long bolts, which might actually come bolts and pulleys in a bag. Um, these two bolts going this way, pulley on the outside. These two bolts going this way. These two bolts going that way. One bolt going this way, these two going that way. I don't know what it matters, but that's the way it says in the book. So. Um, we got all that up, then we got to put these two up 
but I don't think do not fully tighten I don't think we're fully tightening any of these yeah it doesn't say to fully tighten anything so I'll get these two bolts in and then go from there Okay, uh, we got the head unit on here. So it said leave all these loose, although I did. All right, so I can't remember what I showed you and didn't show you. Um, sorry, I've just been trying to get this done, but uh, this is the scale. There's a metal piece behind here. You mount this in the metal piece, stick the bolts through the inside, tighten them up. Comes up to here, you mount this piece up here. Uh, and I, I got a little gap so this thing will slide well. Uh, you can see they're double nutted so you pull this out and tighten it pull that back and tighten it and anyway your cables this one comes up goes around goes through the front here around the front one there and then it attaches under here the other one kind of does the same thing but it goes around uh, well yeah we've got to tighten these up like crazy but that's fine uh, I haven't done any adjustments under here yet once we did that and got this on there, we lifted it up and it said to tighten the wheels up, which we did. If you don't get 30 and a half from outside to outside, um, from here to there, then you take some washers out and, and readjust. Um, we had a problem with that little dust catcher. It's That one's too far in, so it was, it was clogging up that wheel. But we're getting that adjusted now. Then it says once you get it on the track and set down, uh, I didn't put my uh, my water tank on yet, although it says to put it on earlier in the steps. I didn't put it on because lifting with my bucket, I didn't want to smush it. I'll, take, I'll put that on and run the hose, but um, it says once you get it on the track, then you can start tightening all these bolts up. So once it's square and level and rolling good, then we'll tighten them up as it's, the wheels are sitting on that track. All right. Sorry. We've just been... Going wide open trying to get this done before it gets dark and it's getting there. So, uh, the fuel tank thing or the water tank, uh, that goes, the metal thing comes through this side, sticks out that side, and you put the hose on, and you tighten it up right here. The water tank, four bolts, and then the hose line comes down. Uh, this has barbs on one side, and barbs, so it comes into here, goes out. I ran it through this. I don't know if you're supposed to or not whatever once we got this thing up and on here uh, the cables we had to tighten the cable so you run them to the thing get a little tension on it and then you measure from the blade to the rail blade to the rail on both sides and if one side's a little higher than the other then you can torque uh, these uh, cable tensioners down until they they match and then you put the covers on and you had to put this bolt in last tighten everything up um, trying to think of what else I missed here uh, sorry it's just been hectic oh your throttle plate comes over here one short bolt in the top the longer bolt in the bottom with washers on each side and then you you go up here and there's a screw in your throttle that your wire runs through so you tighten that up so when you pull this cable and then so basically when you go to start it you crank it and then when you go to push you'll push this handle and push the thing and of course that i mean i'm sure you guys probably know this but whatever um i don't know where no key is though um trying to think of what else oh i got this so we can set the torque but my torque wrench is three eighths drive and this socket's half inch drive so i got to get an adapter I'm missing the handle here, but they're going to send me one. I called up the tech support. This handle's here. This is tightens it up so you can, whatever, but I'm missing the handle here. They're going to send me all that. But I think I'm pretty much done. You got to put oil in it. They said 10W30. Um, put gas in it. I'll torque the blade tomorrow and spin it a few times to make sure that it's lined up. And then we'll see about cutting a log. Uh, like I said, oh, uh, 
there's clamps underneath clamp here clamp here you got to put together basically this you gotta put the last of the hatch and the whatever all this stuff on there uh those are just a few things you got to put on at the end i do have a few bolts and washers left over i'm not really for sure what they're for but it is what it is and i guess i got this tool i have to figure out what this tool is for i'm guessing tightens bolts I guess you like a wrench I, I don't know there's a few things i gotta do but anyway this is where we're at for now uh i don't know if this will complete the video or if i'll get a video of us running it with it or maybe that'll be a separate video but i appreciate you guys' views and support and uh i hope this helps somebody if not maybe it'd be good uh something to watch before you fall asleep thanks for watching